three. Let's start with Joe Burrow. Yeah, I want to see Joe Burrow go reclaim his spot. And that spot is the one where the Kansas City Chiefs, who have owned the AFC ever since Patrick Mahomes got there, that was the quarterback that they didn't want to see. And we all know it. He was the quarterback that would stand sideline to sideline, eye to eye against Patrick Mahomes and say, I could take you down. And can he stay healthy enough? He's got the best offensive line that he's ever had. They still have plenty of weapons. Jermaine Burton, who they draft out of Alabama, is going to replace Tyler Boyd. I want to see Joe stay healthy, get that swagger back, and lead Cincinnati back to that conversation of, hey, is that the one? Is that the guy that can go beat Patrick Mahomes and the Kansas City Chiefs and knock them off from that pedestal of the AFC champions? Joe's got to stay healthy if he does. Okay, so this is like a very quick little, short little soundbite that I want to unpack a little bit further because... I know who Joe Burrow is. I don't need to be sold on him. It's it's crazy to me that people want to downplay the greatness of Joe Burrow because of him getting injured and stuff like that. Or they just forget who he is, honestly. But Joe Burrow is an unbelievable quarterback. And it's like he is an elite, elite, elite. He has had terrible luck with injuries. And he also did not go to a team that was just ready-made, let's go, with an established offensive head coach. I'm, I'm a fan of Zach Taylor, but Zach Taylor is early on in his career. He didn't have the you know the, the ability to go to a coach who's been there for you know, 10, 15 years like an Andy Reid. So all of those things can kind of work against a Joe Burrow, but really more than anything is the injuries, of course. But in terms of like, can they reclaim the spot as the guy the Chiefs don't want to see is, I guess, is what Dan Orlovsky is saying. Um, I think it actually all comes down to outside of health, right? Let's just let's just put that to the side. Health, of course, especially obviously for Joe Burrow. But it's actually on Zach Taylor. It's actually, I think this is the year that we will find out who Zach Taylor is as a head coach. Because there is a lot, there are a lot of moving pieces. Um, there's pieces that we think are going to be here temporarily and then move on. And I think if they all stay healthy, they should be able to put together an incredibly potent um, offense, like a, a very high level offense, especially if we're saying, and I don't have reasons to doubt this, but saying that Joe Burrow should have a really good to great offensive line, or at the very least hit the best offensive line that he's had. You give Joe Burrow time in the pocket, he should be able to pick you apart. I mean, he so largely plays flawless football and he's one of those rare people who can not only play flawless football and make all the right decisions but then also push right push those limits some quarterbacks can't push they can play great you know concentrated smaller level football which i've said extensively that you can win a lot of games and then when they try to push things can kind of get wonky things don't get wonky in that regard with joe burrow he is that dude no doubt no doubt anyone who doubts that i just i really don't know what to say to you honestly like you're either just a hater or just maybe just confused but i just think it'll come on to zach taylor to be able to tie this all together it's not on joe burrow's shoulders okay it's just not um it's not it, it there's just too many pieces to be moving around to just say okay joe this is up for you to you know to get this offense going because joe burrow is the executor he will be able to be there to execute um, and Zach Taylor needs to put him in that position to be able to do it. Um, and honestly, they've kind of failed Joe. You know, they failed him by not getting that good offensive line. And that's not just personnel. That's also Zach Taylor is to blame for, for, for part of that. And I think when we saw the Bengals still be able to win some games and have that offense actually look pretty legit with, um, with Browning, right? Jake Browning, I think is his name was, you know, the backup quarterback. To me, one that made me like uh, Zach Taylor even more because that's a lot. That's a, easier said than done to be able to do that. But at the other time, it also kind of highlighted Zach Taylor's issues to a degree um, because there was times that that offense was rolling, and then there was some of the most questionable play calls that I could ever imagine. Right, where, where they're doing some certain like trick plays or just certain calls down the field, and I'm just like, what are you doing right now? You have a backup quarterback. You're actually winning. You're playing competitive football. And then you call that play? Like, like what, what are you doing right now? You're not putting your backup quarterback in a position to succeed. You're setting him up to fail, actually. And now your defense is suspect, and you're putting your defense now at risk even more. And it's just like, the, I, I blame Zach Taylor for that. And I just am curious to see if they can kind of connect this all together for this season because this is a crucial season it really really is 
Um, especially if Joe Burrow stays healthy because he's obviously been on, you know, he, he's obviously had the injury issues and it's kind of like that's been used as a jet out, get out of jail free card for the Bengals as a whole, for not only Joe Burrow, but Zach Taylor, but really the franchise as a whole to be like, we're right there. We got to the Super Bowl a few years ago, AFC championships, like we're right there. We're right there. You know, we believe that Joe Burrow is as good or even better than Patrick Mahomes. Sure, he's got the hardware. Joe Burrow has just had the, you know, some unfortunate luck. We got this. But it's just been like, ah, some injuries and, and a wonky offensive line. And, and it's just been a couple things that we're not saying is like the biggest deal. But as soon as we get those figured out, boom, we're got it. And it's not to say that they have all those issues resolved, but if Joe Burrow is actually healthy and they still don't win and they don't compete for the AFC, it's like, you know, you're going to start to have serious questions around this team, especially because you are going to lose like a T Higgins and maybe even other pieces. So it's just, it, it, things can kind of start to get sloppy and then you can kind of turn into, to a degree like, I don't know, maybe kind of like the Ravens or the Bills where you're like, hey, great team, great quarterback. But like, yeah, just on a different level from uh, the Chiefs. The Chiefs are just a notch higher. They just consistently get it done while those teams consistently don't. And then you get put into that category. And I would say that the Bengals have been given that grace of not being in that category. That it's seen largely as they are as good or can beat the Chiefs. It's just that, again, bad luck, right? Injuries and, and whatnot. But because uh, we, we give that grace to Patrick Mahomes. Ah, he could have won another Super Bowl, but it was his offensive line. It's not Andy Reid. It's not the Chiefs as a whole. It was just the very specific offensive line. And a lot of people throw that Super Bowl out, wrongfully so, but they do. And the Bengals have gotten that. They've gotten that benefit, but that will start to shrink tremendously. And if Joe Burrow gets hurt again, then it's like people will be like, Joe Burrow can't stay healthy. The Bengals got to like draft another quarterback. They can't keep doing this. Um, or, you know, they got to do figure something out. And it, and then, then you're going to like, it's going to be hard to get free agents over there as well, because it's like, who's going to want to play with a quarterback who keeps going down, right? Wide receivers and offensive weapons as a whole, they want their numbers. So um, this has potential, I feel like, to for the Bengals at the end of the day to really be boom or bust. They're either going to be rocking and rolling and being really competitive, because I think if they're healthy, I think they're going to be great and they can be truly, truly great. And again, when you have a guy like Joe Burrow um, and a legitimate offensive head coach with legitimate weapons and a but so, a supposedly legitimate um, offensive line, you should be able to put a hurting on anyone. And right, no one will want to see you. And I think they can. But if they get some injuries, um, then it's just then it has the potential just to really just be, you know, a disaster honestly but to be very clear i don't think it will be a disaster but it does just have that boom or bust potential because in a lot of ways that's kind of who they've been over the last couple of years or so of this idea of like hey we got some monstrous weapons right we have the offensive coach we we, we have these pieces like let's go and they've just come up short right or again the injury just completely knocks him out and it's just like oh god at this point maybe like let's just see how many games you can lose to get a better draft pick um it was you're almost kind of like oh, i don't even want you to win at this point so it's gonna be interesting um i believe joe burrow will make a full recovery and i think this Bengals, uh the you know the Bengals team will be a uh a legit team in the afc for sure but those are just my thoughts i would absolutely love to hear yours what do you guys all think um you know do you think that joe burrow and uh, the Bengals can reclaim the spot, as Wierowski put it, uh, that, you know, to go up against the Chiefs to, to kind of take that from them. Uh, let me know in the comments below. I read every single comment. So whether you agree with me or disagree with me, either way, let's get in some discussions. Let's get in some fights. But ultimately, let's just have some fun. And please do consider subscribing. We are building an amazing community here, and I would absolutely love to see you part of it. I want to build something that we all genuinely feel connected to, something that we're really excited to be part of. I think we're well on our way to doing it. And please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, as it really does help with the visibility and the algorithm. Thank you so much, and see you next time.